Welcome to Amy Kardashian and the Expert Show, where the experts share their knowledge, wisdom, and powerful insights to help you transform your business and personal life. This show is about real world education and beyond. I bring sometimes inspirational stories so you could see your life in a whole different perspective. Now, before I introduce my amazing guest, I have two announcements to share with you. One is I am going to do a seminar for the Women's Federation for World Peace, how to turn your fear into faith. And this event is going to be in Las Vegas, sponsored by the Women's Federation for World Peace. You can find the information on akexpertstv.com and click on events. And the second thing is that finally I got, uh, I recorded how to transform your bus- your life, uh, your obstacles into opportunities. It is pre-recorded. You could click on that and watch it right away. And let me know what you think. And now it's time to introduce my guest. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Ta-da! Hi, my name is Vital Germain. I'm a Belgian national with a British accent born in the Democratic Republic of Congo who got to live the American dream by way of a French Canadian circus. That is amazing. Yes, so I I had the privilege, the luxury, the honor of running away with Cirque du Soleil and it was one of the richest, most amazing experiences that I can imagine and it's it transformed you talk about transformation mm-hmm. it transformed my life absolutely and you see how he took over he just introduced himself because <laughs> he knows how to transform everything uh, yes i do that's why right I'm here. Yes. okay and today we're going to talk about how to transform to transform and fly without a net yes how would you fly without a net and that's that's a pretty deep subject here it's a very deep subject it's not a pill that you take and it Mm -hmm. just magically happens that it's a process but it all starts with our attitude attitude for me is the foundation of everything that we achieve in life and the the quote that i live by and it's something that i learned from a gentleman by the name of victor frankel who was a holocaust survivor and he says that the last of human freedoms is the ability to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances so no matter what you're experiencing you always have a choice. And you know, uh, you experienced quite a bit. Yes. I have heard about your story and uh, read a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Not completed yet. <laughs> That's okay. But uh, I know that close people to me, uh, Judy Morio speaks yes. highly of you. And that's why I grabbed you. I'm like, okay, I saw your interview with Judy. I'm like, okay, I need to have him on my show because I bring people who inspires other people good, good. and always bring positive and give hope to others. And yes. that's what the show is all about and give us steps. So um, tell us where, um, tell us a little bit about your story. So this is, okay. they know where you're coming from. It's not something you read. It's something you experience and you live. No, this is absolutely something I experienced. Let me start by saying that the book, the the book title, Flying Without a Net, is a metaphor for... Which is this one. That's the sequel, 2.0. And this is the first one. That's the one that Judy was speaking highly of. I'm very proud to say people have called this book a life changer, a must read. But the metaphor is about having the, the belief that if you spread your wings and you, let's say you jump out the window off the edge of a cliff, you have the confidence and the belief that before you reach the bottom, you will spread your wings and you will fly. Now that entails overcoming challenges and unfortunately my childhood was not a, a sweet, happy, typical American happy ending story. I was unfortunately raised in childcare, like an orphanage. Mm-hmm. Um, there were some really horrible incidences. I witnessed teenage prostitution stabbings, attempted suicides, just a lot of dysfunction gone wrong. But even as a child, I made this decision that that's not my path. I have a dream, I have a sense of who I want to become, and at the time I wanted to be a soccer player. And so I lived and focused on that's who I'm going to become, and then you take the necessary steps to make that dream. To help you. To help you. So what would you say for somebody, they don't have that vision about themselves, because not everyone could overcome obstacles like you have uh, overcame. What would you give them uh, an advice to overcome theirs? One of the big things that has worked for me over the years is take the time to get in touch with yourself and, and, and ask yourself the question, what am I passionate about? 
What do I love to do? What do I aspire to be? And sometimes it's going to be a very small spark and you don't fully understand the big picture of your dream. But if you start to focus and, and feed that little spark oxygen, that spark grow. then grows and becomes a big flame. And so that's what I've done over the years when my dream has, you talk about transformation, over the years my dream has changed. And as it changes, I add more fuel to that dream and then momentum gets me there. So well, sometimes uh, life could take you on a path and it's not necessarily this is your path, but it's, it's a journey to yes. get you to where you want to be. Yes. And you take it, you go yes. with it instead of fighting it and say, oh, this is not my path. But maybe whatever you're doing right now is helping you to go. Is that what That is, is absolutely right. And I remember when I first came to America, that is the, the ultimate example of what you're expressing. I came to America and my dream was I wanted to be in a music video and dance for Michael Jackson. <laughs> Did I ever end up dancing for Michael Jackson? Which I could see you have the talent, okay? <laughs> I can still do the moonwalk. Yeah. But I never actually fulfilled that specific dream. But in pursuing that dream, I came to a place of like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I like this over here. Let me work on that. And it led me to living or succeeding in other levels, which ultimately now I have no regrets that I didn't work for Michael mm -hmm. Jackson because this new door opened. But I had, had I not pursued that initial goal, I wouldn't have arrived here. You wouldn't have arrived here. And yeah. sometimes we have an idea about our purpose. Yes. An idea. But then we're doing something totally different. Probably your purpose is a closer to that, but it's not exactly that's what it is. We were talking in the back of the green room. <laughs> and we were saying about choices, life yes. choices. And um, we had talked about uh, what I talk about, evil, either life breaks you or makes, makes you, you. Yes. and what I see in you, life really made you who you are today. Would you agree with that? I would agree. Now, I, I don't want to sort of make it sound so poetic that I overcame these challenges and it was easy. No, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. Success is not easy. But again, if you have a conviction and a belief and you are determined and you persevere and you're consistent with your steps to getting there, it becomes a little bit easier. And there were times on my journey where I did feel broken. There were moments when I wanted to give up that I would cry, but then you have, you've got to dig deep inside yourself. And again, you ask yourself the questions, how much do I desire this dream? Sure. What am I willing to do to become this person? Okay, so now when we come back, we're gonna go on short, very short yes. commercial. When we come back, we're gonna dig deep into your story oh. a little bit. Okay, look and forward to it. And share some yes. of it, okay? We will be right back. I'm Jamie Lee Mapp, CEO and founder of Skin Fitness here in Las Vegas. We've been serving Las Vegas for over 17 years. We're proud to announce we just won 2017 Spa of the Year by Image International. That's the skincare company of the Miss Universe pageant. We offer exclusive treatments like our Time Eraser Facial, which uses multiple modalities and literally erases time. Our Pore Purge, which is the ultimate in hygiene, and our Fire and Ice Facial, which literally removes and soothes the skin at the same time. Come see us at our new location here in Village Square. We look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, we are back with an amazing guest, and I know you are going to walk away empowered, encouraged to take action towards a better life by hearing this beautiful message coming from a real life experience, not just talking about it, not just read it somewhere. And we're gonna dig now into your story more deep okay. into that, because I still see that child in you. <laughs> Okay, I still yes. see that child who's shining and who wants to make a difference in the world. And I, re I have so much respect for that. Tell me some story that you went through when you were a child that really helped you to switch your thoughts around and say, I never going to be that. Living, growing up in, in, in childcare in this institution, like I ex expressed, it was a horrible environment. Um, it was kind of like uh, Oliver Twist except we were allowed second servings of porridge, but it was, it was still a very tough environment. And I remember observing other children and, and thinking, we all have it tough here, but this guy just got arrested and he's going to jail. This girl is just overdosed on drugs. I f that's not who I want to become. And, I, and I, it's, it's sad to say, but I leveraged the examples of what I didn't want to become 
to help me understand what I did want to become. Mm -hmm. And then, in a way, I feel obliged and a part of my purpose is, now that I'm older and wiser and, and more empowered, I now want to help others to make better choices so that they don't become victims of their circumstance. But these were all through very painful lessons. Absolutely. There were days when um, I loved my mother and she had her challenges, but through, she was an alcoholic. And I remember as a five, six year old, she would have these outbursts of anger and she would throw me and my brothers out onto the streets. And we would be in, on the streets of London freezing. And I remember my brother telling me, Vital, it's gonna be better tomorrow. It's gonna be okay tomorrow. Believe, believe, believe. Mm -hmm. and, and that just fueled my belief that yes, tomorrow will be better. And I learned to leverage that as a part of my, my mission. Yes, tomorrow has always the opportunity to become better. That's amazing to find a uh, uh, hope in the midst of obstacles and laser on to look at someone else, to look at them and say, my life is better. Yes. My life is better than somebody else. That's what my father taught me, to look at always the worse than me and say, my life is better. So that's embedded in your mind to, for what your brother told you, tomorrow yes. will be better today will pass tomorrow will yes. be better that kept you going and, and and again going back to my mother even though she had her challenges remember as a as a child while she was still functioning uh, properly she did instill these values in me that vital you can become anything that you want to become mm -hmm. uh, make me proud one day and so there's an element and, and I've noticed over life that when our sense of purpose is bigger than just us it's empowering so one piece of advice I'd love to give to people out there, if you're sort of lost and not sure what you want to do, find a cause or a sense of purpose that is beyond you and you will find additional strength to get you there. Because if it's just about you, it's not enough. Get out of your own way, basically. That's a part get of it Get out too. of yes. your own way. Yes. And don't focus on yourself. So we are going to do a second segment with you because oh. your first time coming to yes. the show. I'm sure you have a lot more to share. I do. And a lot of more steps to, to share with everyone. So if you are watching on social media right now, I encourage you to go to akexpertstv.com to watch all of the segments I have recorded. And if you're watching live, stay with us. We will be right back. Are you frustrated and wasting time searching for high quality education and entertainment and not finding it? Stop wasting your time. We've got your solution. Our three dynamic and unique online TV shows provide you with high quality and easy to find content. Everything from business skills and self-development to book and movie reviews and everything in between. At akexpertstv.com, you'll find high-quality experts in their field. In one place, at no cost to you. Visit www.akexpertstv.com today.